Chris Sacco with Sacco Construction. Today we're going to talk about how to level a modular home. Now, things you're going to need, tape measure, a couple of bottle jacks, about two or three of them, something to jack off of, or jack up off of, a couple of six by six, attach some handles to them, they're easy to drag around the house. What I've done is I've taken all this skirting off. It's rotten, needs to be replaced anyways. Also cleared a bunch of debris out from under the house. Old tires, old lawnmowers, stuff like that. So what you're gonna need is bottle jacks, tape measure, light, maybe a couple levels. If you don't have a couple levels, long levels, I-beam levels, you can make your own old carpenter's trick maybe somebody knows about that anyways we like to work smart around here not hard knee pads gloves clear your way out I found these old carpet squares I just laid them down kind of make it a little easier on myself and last but certainly not least a laser level if you don't have a laser level you can be done without it they're about a hundred bucks or you can get them cheaper on the wish app something like that if you have time for it but a laser level is going to make this job a whole lot easier what i've done so far is i've jacked up on the lowest points gotten them to grade we need some shims as well Hardy board works great. I have this old hardy board siding. The job also has some engineered flooring. When I got here, this section of trailer was bowed. It was very obvious. You can see with the eyes. So, well, here's your, well, there's your problem. That old plumbing leak rotted some of the shims and dropped this one down about three inches. So I brought it up the grade, shimmed it with some hardy board and some engineered flooring. And now we get to the fun part. Take your laser level. Maybe get some light. I don't know if you have poor lighting, set up a shop light. If you have power or battery light, you can put your light, set your laser level under the structure. This also works for pier houses. As you can see, also you're going to want to clear out anything blocking your line of sight. But as you can see, I have a two-point laser level. Green levels work work great. You can see the visibility is a little bit better. What you're going to do is go down the line, measure off of your I beam. You're going to measure off of your I-beam on this pier, measure off your I-beam on that pier, find the highest point and bring everything up to the highest point. And that's basically it. Easy peasy Japanesey. Go down the line, clear your line of sight and bring them all up. As long as they're within an eighth inch, you're pretty good. It's pretty standard. Also, something you want to watch out for is your plumbing. You got drain lines here. And listen very carefully when you're jacking up. You can only jack up maybe a half inch on these structures an inch at a time without causing some major damage, especially to drain lines. What you might want to do is find a good section, cut it off, and then after 
your structure is leveled, come back and repair it with a repair coupling. What you don't want happening is it breaking off from the ground. So in some cases where you have to raise the structure several, several inches, something you might want to look out for. Well, anyways, it's pretty basic. It's not a whole lot involved. If you don't like crawling around under houses, hire somebody else to do it. And uh, I hope you learned something from this video. This is Sacco Construction. Feel free to leave your comments, um, suggestions below. Thank you. Have a good day. God bless.